What's good, y'all? I'm trying out this new selfie stick. <laughs> but stay in tune, man. I'm going to show you the difference because I keep getting a lot of calls about what's the difference and which one should I get as far as business license. I think I did something like this before, but I'm going to get more and string you. It's, it's going to not be too long, but I'm going to give you the differences between the two and which one should you get. We're going to go from there. What's up, y'all? Okay, so we back. So... When you start your business, you need to first think about what type of business you're going to get because there are a lot of different business licenses, licenses and things like that out there that you could get, you should get, or you might want to get. Uh, just pretty much based off that, off what you're doing. Um, starting off, there's a DBA, doing business as. Next step is probably a limited liability corp, uh, company. Next step above that is your corporation. So you uh, go like that. Of course, you got all the middle things like partnerships and all that good stuff. But just to keep it more simple, is those four. That's all I'm messing around with. With this, which is the DBA, LLC, S Corp, and the C Corp. DBA, you and the business are one. Point blank. That's it. It is what it is. Nothing pretty much to it. You can still open up a bank account. You can do all that good stuff with a DBA. It's the cheapest thing you can get. You can go to. You can type in uh, where to get your. Uh, I cannot think of the name of the place, but it's here downtown. I'm in Las Vegas. It's here downtown. Uh, I literally paid 25 bucks when I had got got a DBA for another business I was inquiring in. And I'm going to tell you why I did it sooner because you're going to understand later on. And uh, that's right before I switched it to an LLC. It was like 25 bucks. Nothing. Super easy. You know, I was able to open up a bank account, get checks, and tell all my clients to write the checks out to that. It made it, made, you know, made, makes you look very professional when it comes down to that on a very expen inexpensive budget. Next step above that is an LLC, which is as you would think about it as a vehicle, it's a limited liability. Just like if you get a vehicle, uh, it's liability insurance. So which means if you ever get in a car accident with liability insurance, they're going to pay for the other vehicle. They're not going to really touch yours. Uh, pretty much the same exact thing with a limited liability corporation. Uh, they're going to make sure if you're ever in a situation, it's going to make sure you're not going to get hurt or something like that, but they won't pay for any damages or something. It's, it's like a basic thing. That's probably the best way to put it. And uh, it's a lot of good things, though, with an LLC once you switch on from a DBA to an LLC. Uh, the next step above that is an S Corp and a C Corp. The best way for me to break that down for you is to put in these simple terms. An S Corp is a simple corporation, <laughs> and a C Corp is a complicated corporation. Uh, you know... Anything. If you wanna, if you wanna get straight to the point, but have the best results, S Corp. If you wanna get more anal with it and get all the perks and all that good stuff with it, go with a C Corp. But I wouldn't suggest you go with a C Corp if you're not like. Well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't suggest you do it. Just understand why you're doing it. Like uh, C Corp, I would say use it if you're trying to go public. If you're trying to build a, a public corporation such as Go Public, put get on a stock market, start selling shares and doing different things like that. Do that. Uh, most public corporations, I think all uh, public corporations have a C corporation. If you're not trying to do that, just stick with an S corp. Simple. It's you know straight to the point. It keeps you covered uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, but the differences between the two, well, between all four of these are for one tax purposes. Uh, DBA, LLC, and S corp, you file once a year. C corp, you file quarterly. Obviously, you just found out the differences between those four. Uh, which one is the more strenuous? That's why I call that the complicated corporation. And all in all, if you're trying to be that that owner that wants to file taxes yourself and file the business taxes, utilize a C corporation. Everything else, you will file taxes with the business, point blank. It's you, when you file your taxes, your personal tax returns will have that business on it. With a C corporation, the, the business files its own taxes, which is called double taxation. Uh, that a C corporation will have to be, you will have to file taxes and the business will have to file taxes. You know, taxing them, you know, if you, you know, you do the whole breakdown, what you brought in, do you subtract your cash or goods and then your dividends at the end of the year, you subtract that, all that good stuff. All that plays a part in a C corporation. S corporation, when you file the taxes, you file your taxes under that. With an LLC, the perfect thing and a quick tip. If you have an LLC and you're partners with other businesses, the best way to do that is to start up an LLC, which will can protect yourself as one. You and the business are one. And then when other people want to be partners in the business, you make all of them get an S corp. 
that would be an outstanding thing because what that just did was protected them, but now you're protected within corporations. Now you, you, your partners to the LLC are businesses instead of personnels, which is outstanding. <laughs> That's a quick tip for you. And um, those are differences. So now if you're trying to start a business off of everything I said, that ba that is basically based off of whatever you're doing. If you are doing something that's not selling something that can be, you could be sued from, such as like a health product or something like that, uh, DBAs uh, would be good to start out with. There's nothing wrong with it. You're, if you're not putting yourself in a situation to be sued, get a DBA in the LLC uh, or an LLC. Of course, it's going to be upper in price. I think in Vegas, you're paying like almost three three fifty for it. In Cali, I think you're paying almost $800 for it. But just start out with a DBA. There's some simple, straight to the point. Now, if you're, uh, if you know, if you're selling stuff like health products and you're selling that stuff, I would suggest you go with an S Corp or C Corp due to the fact that you'll be much more protected when it comes to yourself. So, um, so now you wouldn't have to worry about if, like, if someone comes to try to sue you or stuff like that. That stuff is in the back burner because, in like, your assets and all that good stuff are protected now. It's the good thing about that. Uh, LLC, of course, is going to be tough for you to put because I don't believe you can put assets in an LLC. I don't believe. If I'm wrong, please leave it in the description. But I don't believe you can put your assets in it. It'd be best for you to get an S Corp or a C Corp to place your uh, assets so they can be protected. Uh, that'll be the best way for that. As far as business and personal, it'd be the, a good way to, you know, define the two. And then you'll go from there. So, it's all based off what you're doing. If you don't think your business can be sued, because anybody can be sued, but it's a very rare situation, um, just think of it that way, how you should put your corporation. Get a DBA if you're just starting. Learn the ropes. If you're not making over $50,000 right now, uh, stick with a DBA because you're really not going to get targeted for anything. But once you start making like way over that, you're going to start getting situations. And then once you get a DBA... It is in good standings for the next two to four years, I believe. Two to four years, you want it's it doesn't expire till then. Uh, so that's a great plus. It's just like any corporation, you have to file and renew and do all that good stuff once a year. You have to do that when you're paying your taxes. You're paying all that good stuff. There's certain fees in certain states that you have to pay once a year to keep that active. So that's a quick tip for you all. Hope this video wasn't too long, but. That's a good breakdown for you just so you can understand those four things. The DBA, doing business as, LLC, limited liability company, S Corp, which I call a simple corporation, and a C Corp, which is a complicated corporation. If you're trying to just start off and don't know what you're really doing, get a DBA. If you kind of know what you're doing and you want to be a little more protected, get an LLC. If you know and you're making well over like $100,000 to $200,000, go with an S Corp or a C Corp. And most definitely, if you think your business is going public, stick to the complicated corporation. Thank you for watching the J. Franklin Jr. YouTube channel. Always remember, be persistent. Follow and like and subscribe and all that good stuff on all the social media platforms. And I'll be in tune with you all. Please leave anything y'all have in the descriptions below. And any other videos y'all might want to see, just let me know. Peace. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Oh, hey, y'all. I'm shooting on the iPhone 8. It's looking good. That just clear. Ooh, that cleared me up. That cleared me up. But all right, y'all. Peace. <laughs>